Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Walls of CCLP3. We are on level 111, Grand Prix Danger Circuit. So at the end of the last video, I mentioned that I basically named this level, and it was because Josh had posted a photo of this on uh, the Discord server, and I thought, oh, you know, this could be another kind of Grand Prix-ish level. And, uh... I was inspired by, um, of all things, a board game. Whoa, that's loud. Uh, I think I turned this back up when I was watching something. Let me get that back down. There we go. Um, the board game in question is called Downforce, and it had an expansion. Oh, that was an actual teeth. <laughs> I did not see that. That was funny. Um, it had an expansion called Danger Circuit. If, if you haven't played Downforce, it's a really fun game. I, I highly recommend it. Um, you could probably get a copy at Target, I think, because they, they recently released a new version of it that you can um, you can buy at Target that's a little cheaper than the normal one. So, um, yeah, if you just want a fun time with, like, six people, Downforce is the way to go. Or four people, even, is, is a good number for the game. Um, so this obviously needs to go there. Uh... Okay, I'm I'm a little worried about like the sustainability of oh, never mind. I was like, how do we prevent that thing from affecting us over there? But uh, apparently that's a whoa whoa whoa! I did not mean for that to get out of that spot. So yeah, there was an expansion. So the the original game was kind of like the standard Formula One racing kind of feel, you know, with all these different cars and stuff. But then the, the expansions kind of turned the game more into Mario Kart, where they had these really wild track ideas, like uh, getting... Uh, oh, I see. I need to get this over there. Okay. I, I see the, the play here now. Oh, but I have to do it before I open that. Derp. We'll, we'll get this. I, I'm sure we'll get this. This is one of those levels where it seems like there's so much precision involved. I'm a little worried about the length of it, but hopefully it won't be terribly uh, taxing. And I just realized I forgot to open that. Alright. Um, so my question is... Alright, I'm going to assume that we want this to... Uh, We want this to stay here. There we go. Okay, yeah. I I think I think what you have to do is you have to get this teeth over to the bomb. Right? Like that would make sense. Okay, there we go. And then this one, apparently, is going to be like a my friend kind of thing. So my question is, do I need to get the block through here? Because it seems possible, right? Like, yeah, I have to, actually, because I need to get it down over that way. Ooh, now that's going to be interesting. So in order to get this, uh, assuming that these are all connected vertically, in order to get this key, I'm going to have to get the block down here, right? So, oh wait, I could just go to the bottom row. I, For some reason, I thought there was a chicken and egg problem there. Alright, so let's go here. Switch that. Get this in. Okay. So I just need to get this. Okay. I just need to get that there. And then... This is a very claustrophobic kind of level. Uh... Yeah, I'm really nervous right now. I'm not going to lie. There we go. Okay, so now we got that. So the question here is, where next? Do I just... I'm trying to figure out like what the what the play here is. Like, do I get the block over there? I mean, I would. I, I feel like this this level with its title being what it is suggests that we are carrying a block around. 
like the original. Because I think when Josh posted the level in the Discord, the the idea was to make a sequel of sorts to Grand Prix. I'm pretty sure that that was, that was the intention. So I need to get the block on the bottom of the button. I'm going to get the teeth back in here for now. I do appreciate that the level gives you all this space that you can use for getting the teeth around. That That's nice. I, I do appreciate that. And n niches within which to hide it. Okay, so there we go. We got that. Okay, so now we got through here. We, we got... We made our way through this, right? So now we have two blocks to use, which is rather interesting. Um, can I assume that this bottom one is for the bottom trap? I would hope so. Let's give it a shot. Okay, good. Uh, I need you to swing this way. There we go. I am really nervous about what's going on right now. Okay. So I got to figure out what the deal is with this. This is kind of making me nervous, I have to admit. Let me get the, the teeth back in its nook here. I, I like the fact that this exists. This is nice. Okay, so over here... We, we now have access to two blocks. That That's fantastic, right? Okay, and then we have this teeth. I don't know what this is all about. Like, what's the... Is the idea that I'm supposed to get the teeth through the maze and... Because I feel like that's going to naturally happen, right? Like, if the idea is I'm supposed to... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume, by the way, that there is, like, a, a recessed wall under that thing. And that this is supposed to be kind of an old frog new tricks thing here. Walls from Grand Prix, because you totally didn't know that already. Like, the teeth is going to go in here, and, and maybe I should actually just get it up there right now. Because uh, putting it in that niche is just kind of pointless. And honestly, there's no way it's going to move forward, right? Okay, I almost died there when I did a half weight. Okay. So, let's just assume that it's just going to go up. And it's going to continually go up. I don't see anything that would prevent it just by virtue of the kind of diagonal that would inform whether it goes left or right. I don't see how it wouldn't just go up there, right? So, my question is, what exactly is the point of that? Like, what are we accomplishing by getting the teeth through the maze? What's, what's the deal with that? Like, what's, what's the deal with this as well? The, this whole area here. I see there's four blocks. But, I, I, like, I can't get the teeth through this gravel, right? Like, that's not possible. So, yeah. Um, is it just getting the blocks through? Like, these two blocks? Let me just map that out real quick. I can get it up here, go through here, turn around. Is it about getting through the traps? Because that would be interesting. But wouldn't that only work once, though? If that's a, I'm assuming that's a recessed wall. But even if it weren't, the teeth would just follow me through there, right? That's kind of a little problematic. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one with me, and I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna take one with me, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this and see what happens. Because I think that's the way. By the way, I, I'm really excited about playing through these levels. I, this is kind of like our uncharted territory for me with this set now. So I, Jeffrey had hadn't covered this in his Let's Play, right? So, like, it's it's really interesting to see some of this stuff now. So, I'm just going to assume 
that going up here is totally what we need to do. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay, so th this is not fascinating. I feel like that was not correct. Like, I feel like there's, there's more to it than that. So, if I did that, okay, good, it, it comes out. Whoop, hang on. Let me leave you there. I'm hoping I'm not risking too much by having it go get loose again there, but there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. Oh boy, this is not good. There we go. Okay, it, now it can't really go into that niche. Never mind, I'm being silly here. Okay, there. That's that's what I wanted. I wanted to be trapped somewhere like that. Okay, so now I just need to fight for this. Uh, there we go. That thing. All right. I don't think we'll have to deal with that teeth anymore, hopefully. But now I've completely blocked myself in, so I'm going to have to go back around. Which, it's not that big of a deal. But man, look how, look how much time we spent on this. We were in the double digits of this long time limit. Oh, I'm going to have to spend... No! I didn't mean to do that! Grr! I'm going to, I'm going to have to get four blocks into that thing. Oh, that's... Ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. Really, at the very end of the level, you're going to have me do that. Ugh. That's not... Yeah, yeah, that's not cool, man. Especially at the end. I mean, if there's some way to mitigate some of that, then that's one thing. But, yeah, I'm... Not the biggest fan of what that's looking like right now. Why did I retreat to that? I, I don't know why I did that. That was not the best move. I'm going to probably rush this and I'm going to make mistakes. Because that seems to happen all the time. But we'll, I'll try to be cautious. I'll try to be cautious here. Okay, there. That's what I meant to do. And actually, I don't think I need to switch these. I can just do that. Okay. So let's get our block friend down this way. It's interesting how Josh used like the little niches here for chips. Because there were a lot of teleports in this level before... And now, you don't really need to use those with this structure. Whoop. Come on. Okay. Just need to be extra cautious. That was close. That was close. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize there was a, a thin wall there. Oh, well. We, we flicked on a level in MS that doesn't really need it. Yeah, this is another niche here that had a teleport. I love the fact that the, this little alcove exists. That's a nice reprieve in a level that could otherwise be really stressful with all this, uh, you know, teeth maneuvering and whatnot to think about. Okay, get this one. 
The good news is, with this run, I don't have to worry so much about the time limit. Hopefully. Okay. So now, let's just get everything in place. It might be a smarter idea to, like, position both blocks up here initially. If there's one complaint I have about this, I think you could have accomplished this area with one fewer block. I don't think you need both. Like, I, I don't think both is really necessary for this. I kind of had a similar thing, uh, a problem with one of my own levels, um, Jet Black Incursion from Walsh CCLP1, where there was this room at the bottom that had, like, um, um, like teeth and gliders, and you basically had to guide the the gliders with the teeth and I had like six gliders there initially and then I realized wait a minute I just need one glider like for this whole puzzle I mean I don't need all six of them that's just so chaotic and it just becomes tedious and chaotic and tedious by the way not a good combination so because of that I decided okay let's just cut it out and go into just one and it ended up I think being a lot better because of that, at least better than it would have been with the six. And I feel like, I mean, this is a much less extreme example, but I feel like that would be, you know, it's a similar case here. Okay, let me just get you into this little niche here. Okay, there you go. See, that's that's much better. I, I think this approach was much less chaotic than the, the first one. So it's, it's not that bad. I'm kind of overreacting to this. Okay, so we've gotten our teeth maneuvering done with that guy. Now we need to do the, the long ending push thing, which probably won't be that long. It's just having that one teeth in the way is just going to be super annoying. And it looks like the area where the ball was in the original is where... This is going to... Uh, end up, as far as the... Uh, the exit being... Sorry, I'm trying to... I'm just trying to make sure I'm concentrating here. Okay, this is... I don't think this is actually going to be that bad. This kind of reminds me a little bit of... Uh, Take a Bite of My Heart, that's... Uh, one puzzle with the Sokuban where you had to hold a trap button down and all that. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit, but just with getting all the blocks out. I don't think you need all... You should have to have all four. Like, that feels a little like overkill. I think this level could have been condensed a little more. But I like what it does. I, I think it does a pretty good job of everything that... Um, most of the things it sets out to do. And I realized I didn't have my volume on that whole time. So now it's back. All right, Overstock Distribution Center. This was the one I was looking um, for in the last video that was based on magic tricks. I remember seeing a, um, this level in the editor. Um, and I'm going to have to be very deliberate about where I push these things. I, I'm going to need two blocks there. And I'm going to assume that all these walls are real. Like, I... I'm just going to run with that assumption. It, it could be completely false. But let's let's go with that and see wh where that takes us. Yeah, okay. So here... I think this is just a matter of doing something like this, right? Like, this is... Nothing particularly uh, complicated. So this was the area with, like, the walker and everything, right? Like, yeah, this is the left side. It's been a little while since I played Magic Trick, but... Actually, no, I, I did try optimizing it the other day, I want to say. Um... I'm a little torn on what to do with this room. I think doing something like this, though, is probably the way to go. Because I can get four blocks out of here with that method. My question, though, is... Okay, how do I get that one? Do I just turn this around? 
I need to get that, those keys, I'm assuming. I'm going to blow up bombs whenever I can. I think that's generally a good practice for something like this. And I think I have to do this to avoid cooking it. Okay, there we go. So now... Um, okay. I could do this and save a block that way, so let's do that. This is a really interesting puzzle. I've, I think I've mentioned this a few times before, but it's been a while. I love puzzles that have like the whole city block thing going on, where it's all about kind of where you push blocks and how they interact with the rest of the level and that kind of thing. I don't know. There's something about that I really like. I've always been a fan of the end of city block, even though it's the end of a long level. And I'm not a fan of the fact that it's at the end of a long level. I like it on its own. And I think that's really cool. Um, let's go here and then, I guess, here. Yeah, we'll do that. Is there something under that? Nope. So this is where all the balls were. I was kind of copying the... With Magic Trick, I was kind of copying that one section at the end of tra uh, Trapped or the beginning of Trapped with all the balls. I like how there's all these dead ends that you can't really get through. That's pretty neat. Okay, I'm just going to assume that we just need to... The, the number one goal is just to get through that. Um, okay, I need three more? Three more? How do you get three more out of this stuff? That's interesting. Let's start by doing this. I I feel like this is fine, right? My only concern with this is I don't want to block my path out of here. You see what I mean? Like I I can get two blocks easily here, but I think I would basically screw this, right? So, let me do that. Like, assuming I have to go back. So, I think with that, I should be fine. So, we got that right there. Got that right here. Um, Go this way. Go that way. Get that. Okay. So, now we have a room unto itself. This was the area with the tanks, wasn't it? And it looks like there's nothing I can really do there. Huh. Okay, I think this is just a matter of getting two, these two right here, right? Okay. And then there's apparently trap buttons involved with this. That's interesting. Uh, let me push this one up. Let me do that. Okay. Let's go here. Do that one. So I, I see the two blocks that are supposed to go to the two destinations here. So we'll take care of that. So this is the Sokoban. Um... I'm just trying to make sure I'm mapping this out correctly. So if I push this left, and I push that, or sorry, yeah, I push this right, and then down, and then up, I should be fine, right? Yeah, just a matter of doing that. Okay, then we go over here. And we get the, the key. Okay. Oh, don't tell me I was supposed to save another block there. Unless it comes from another room. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Um, well, now I'm really concerned. I feel like we're right at the end, too. So what's the point of this room? 
I really want to know what the point of this room is. Is it just for fun? I think it is. Oh, here. Oh, was that supposed to... No, that, that wouldn't have been it. That wouldn't have been it. Um, I can go here, though. I can do this. Go here. Nothing under that. Okay, I, I don't understand what's going on here. Uh, this is really concerning. I don't think I did anything wrong with this area, but I'm worried I did something wrong with the upper area, and... Yeah. Actually, wait. That would be a dead end. This whole area is a dead end. Never mind. So, I fear I did something wrong with this. I, I just don't know. Does it have something to do with this bomb here? Like, is that what's going on? I, I can't do anything more with this. I'm going to have to start over again. It's a shame, because I, I feel like we were making really good progress with this level. But, at the very least, we kind of know the general structure of it now. I mean, I don't think there's really anything hidden under these blocks. Unless maybe a hint might be guarding one of them, or under one of them. So, we'll just take what we've learned and move forward, I guess, right? I like, like I said, I, I love this concept of just trying to extract things from blocks. I've I've always liked it. I, I used to make a lot of levels on paper when I was a kid, and this particular idea was one that I... I drew a lot of levels on paper about, and I kind of played out the puzzles in my heads when I did it. Most of them were really, like, straightforward. Like, there wasn't really much to them at all. I wasn't particularly great at designing levels or anything. I mean, I was probably, like, seven or eight or so. But, uh, but it was fun. Like, I had a good time with it. Um. Wait a minute. Did I just screw this, too? I feel like I just did something wrong here. Uh, yeah. We're going to have to start over again. That's unfortunate. But hey, we're getting little, like, optimization improvements each time, so... No. It's not a bad thing, right? Okay. Get uh, so wait a minute. Did it, we didn't actually need the fourth? Ooh, we didn't actually need that fourth block. I just realized that. Because I use this one to do that, and then the two I ultimately use are from here. So you could get away with having another block. In fact, hang on a sec. What if I kept the red key? I'm curious to know if there's something I can get out of having the red key at this point. I'm going to actually keep it and just see what happens. If maybe there's a secret hint or something that I can gain access to by virtue of having the red key. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see. So I think my mistake was that I pushed that down, whereas I need to push that up. There we go. Okay. So this is the dead end. Nothing more there. Go over here. And we have all this stuff. Okay. Sorry I'm being quiet here. I'm just... I'm just thinking through a lot of this level. I'm still wondering, like, what's the point of going down that middle area that used to have, like, the toggle corridor? Like, that's where I'm a little, like, what's, what exactly are we doing with that? And I am not actually sure. It's 
try doing that this time. I didn't know if there's, you know, I'm, I'm just trying stuff. I don't know if there's something hidden under these things or what. I, you never know, right? You just never know. Wait, could I have just... Was this block available to me on the last attempt and I completely missed it? Oh my gosh, did I just miss that the entire last attempt? I feel like I did. Oh my goodness. Was I really that oblivious? I think I was. I'm so sorry, everybody. I completely missed that. Oh. I could have just gotten this, this block right here. I could have just done that. Okay, there's the hint. Extract the blocks in such a way to prevent teleporting straight into that bomb. Uh, what are you talking about? Like, the one here? Is it, I'm assuming it's so that we can partial post there and then go back, right? So, I'm just going to clarify, right? Like, this area over here, this is pretty much no, a nothing area, right? Like, there, there's nothing over here. I'm, I'm not going to touch it. So, let's work on this ending section. It sounds like the goal is to partial post and then go to where the bomb is by blowing it up first and then go back and go to the exit. Am I reading that correctly? Um, I'm, I'm really nervous about what I'm doing with this. Okay, so I see here that there is what appears to be a turnaround point of sorts. Of sorts, I guess you could say. Okay, there's where the dead end area was earlier. So, I only really need three, right? I'm going to try this. Let's... Let's loop back around, and... Because I only really need three, right? I don't need all four. Maybe Josh just included one extra. Kind of like this red key, which doesn't seem to really have much purpose here. Oh, wait, no, this is three. This is three. I just miscounted. I thought that was three blocks up there, but it's not. Okay. Okay. I almost teleported straight into the bomb. There we go. That was really fun. I mean, it's not my favorite level, but it, it plays around with an idea that I've always enjoyed. And it does so in a way that pretty... It, it uses the wall layout pretty well. I mean, I can see why Josh didn't want to do something maybe more variety-oriented, considering that the original level had that going on. So I like what was done with this. I think it was pretty cool. All right, Acid Playhouse. Okay, this looks kind of intense. Okay, this looks like a, a kind of a, a more intense version of Cyanide, if anything. Okay, so I go here. Okay, this looks like it's going to... Have a bunch of loot. Oh, this is elite. This is elite. I know this room. This is uh, the um, the block area of elite. This is going to be kind of a challenge to navigate. I'm going to guess. So let me just make sure I'm I'm reading this correctly. I think what I need to do here is to do that like that. There we go. And that's where, like, the green doors were. It's like, yeah, I can go there. And then I go here. I'm going to 
backwards boost off of that, but that's not really helpful. I like how there's all this, like, ramming into walls and stuff. I think that's kind of fun. Hope, it, hope it's not annoying sound-wise. I'm not wearing my headphones, so I can't really hear the sounds. I feel like I do better without the headphones anyway. So... I'm hoping there's no, like, unwinnable states in this level. Okay, this is where, like, the fire maze was. Yep, walls from Elite. Or not, not the fire maze, the blue wall maze. Where you, did you get the fire boots there? I forget. And there's no chips. It's just a run to the end. And it looks like the end is in this large open first area. Which used to have all the thin walls and the ice maze and all that stuff. So you know what Acid makes me think of? It makes me think of that mini golf game that we used to play um, in the CC community. Not not golf with your friends. That, like that's the one that everyone plays now on Steam. But there was like this free mini game that we used to play, and there's like Acid as one of the the course hazards. Like old school CC BBC people, I think will know what I'm talking about. Uh. Wait, I have to go down there. That That's where I'm trying to head. Let me, let me try this again. No, 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 too far, too far, too far. There we go. Okay, that was a nice breather level. I liked it. Okay, man with a key, but without a door. I want to say I, I tried playing this level, much like, um, what was it called? Repulsive Shadow Keep in one of Josh's compilation sets. Um, yeah, I, I remember this. Uh, it was based on the walls of Everybody Get Dangerous. Um, I'm, I'm nervous about this Sokoban, but hopefully it's not going to be... Anything terribly ridiculous. Mm. Oh, and now I just screwed it. I'm I, I always notice that stuff when only when it's too late. Like whenever there's like a loop that you can't take anymore. Mm. Totally miskeyed that. I tend to just not catch it on until like way too late, or not not catch on to it. Let's try this. Hopefully this might be slightly better. I think this is the way. Maybe. Yeah, I think as long as I can rotate these two, it's perfectly fine. That's a really interesting Sokoban. I, I like it, though. Okay. What next? We have a f another Acid Playhouse, apparently. Um, I don't think we can get anything from this, though. Yeah. So let's just move on. This looks like a kind of like a toggle tank area. Okay, let's... This seems pretty straightforward. I can't push it onto that button, though. But apparently that's not what we need. Okay, what are you supposed to be all about? Teeth here. Um, apparently gaining a blue key. And I guess we lead the teeth into there. 
This room kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Technopathic from uh, CCLP4, a little bit. Okay, so now we're in this area. Um, I'm just going to check to make sure that there's no yellow door I'm supposed to go through first. I don't think there is. I'm guessing that's over here somewhere. Oh, wait, no, we're trying to get rid of the yellow key. That That's like the whole point of the level, so. Okay. I'm trying to understand the order of operations here. So, like, if I grab those flippers... Um, I think I see what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to create a nail that goes in here, basically. And I have to get two fireballs onto the force slide to uh, be obstacles while I do it, right? That's the play here. Pretty clever. Okay. Then we can go over here now. Okay, I'm nervous about this. This looks like a don't touch zone. So, this is where, like, the toggle room was, right? In the original. So, my question is what exactly are we cloning if we were to press those? I don't think I ever made it this far in the original level. Maybe I... Did I even play it? Maybe I didn't even play it. I don't remember. Okay. I was wondering if that was a clone machine. I figured there was a little trap kind of thing there. And sure enough, there was. Um, Here? Nope. I have to go down through that. Here we go. So now I just need to go right through... There we go. I, I could do that. Alright, so at this point, I have suction boots, which is one more than I... Boot than I... Or two more boots than I had before. And with that, I can now get the fire boots. So at this point, let's go through... Well, apparently not there. But over here, we can... All right, I'm a little nervous about losing all my boots, but I'm going to get some fire boots back at least, so that's that's at least something. That's at least something. Okay, so this is where the teleport maze was originally, right? Um, I think I see what you need to do here. Wait for that and then do that. Okay, and looks like we have an invisible maze over this way. Ooh, what is this? This looks interesting. Is this a Sokoban? With like an interesting extraction gimmick? It might be, I think it is. So my question is, how much how much do I need to get that bug out? Okay, I'm just wanting to make sure I can't turn blocks around in that area. How much do I need to get that bug out? That's the question. Let me get one block out of the room and then we'll figure it out. Because I, I can get a better picture. Okay. I'm a little nervous that I just wasted a block. But I'm thinking I didn't, because if I could put a second block there, I can put a third block there, and then... Can I turn around a fourth to get to the very end? Maybe that's where the bug would come in handy. Because... Oh wait, no! No, 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 no. I, I can do it. I can do it. I can just bounce and blocks that, go back around, and then go here. So I don't think I need the bug, right? I don't think so. So I can do that, right? And then we can go this way. 
go there, and then I can get this final one. I'm really hoping I don't need that bug. I don't think I do, but you can't be too careful at this point in the set. This looks like all about buttons, ending territory kind of stuff. So I'm going to wait, then grab. Looks like that's where the hint is if you want to come back and get it. I'm not going to worry about that. Man, remember back when we started the Let's Play and I was like, I'm going to try to get to as many hints as possible. Yeah, that didn't quite happen, did it? Okay, so here, I'm trying to understand what's up with this this right here. Like, how do I get that? Is it just getting the fireball there? Because, like, here, it's going to dead end. Okay, it looks like it will come back. So it's just a matter of getting the fireball down through that. I don't have to use any other special powers or anything. But now my question is, what's the point of going out there? Like, don't I only have like, oh wait, it's to get rid of a, it's to get rid of a key. Because I need to go back through the deal, right? Yeah, go through this way. That was really fun. I, I liked that one. That was pretty cool. Buccaneer Beach. We'll, we'll round out today with this one. We'll, we'll do this one real quick. Fireball Tourism. Definitely Fireball Tourism. Okay, there's a bunch of chips. This is more than 24. Is this a... Ooh, is this what I think it is? Is this an Abstinence Sokoban? Okay, l let me just get the lay of the land here. Yeah, this is definitely an Abstinence Sokoban. That, I see the hint there. Okay, I just need to see what we're dealing with. So I need to get a yellow key somewhere and then have three chips left in order to get to the end. That's what I'm seeing. Three chips remaining. Right? So where do we get to the yellow key? That's, that's where I need to figure that out first. And then we can, we can work our way from that. I think we can work our way from there. There is the the island, but like is there a faster way to get to that? Like through the teleport or is that just is that what this is all about? It's like cause I see Let me just do this real quick. Okay, I only need one block technically, but I'm guessing that's going to come with a lot of caveats. Oh, wait, that was a socket. Uh, I see. You need four. You need four blocks. Or maybe three. Maybe you just need three. Okay. We have our work cut out for us, ladies and gentlemen. So. Let's figure out what what's the most common path through which we can cut. That's probably the first order of business. I could do something like this, go through here. Um, maybe the maybe this is actually better. Yeah, okay. Let's try that. Get one there. Curious to know how many extras there are in terms of leeway. So I can get away with this this run without needing that many chips. I'm gonna be pretty pretty satisfied. I see the fourth block down there, but I'm, I'm just not sure we really need it, right? can do that. Go there. So now I have this yellow key, right? I have the yellow key. 
for okay I think I need one more chip so let me do that yep there we go and there's a suction boot here if we want to explore which I will totally do with no hesitation so we didn't even need that block I wonder if that was intentional or what and there's the the hint area which was the exit area previously walls from fireball tourism that's a level I need to go back and optimize I really need to work on that but levels with lots of monster chaos and collisions are just not my jam all right, so that's Buccaneer Beach. That's a really cool concept. It's funny, I've actually been wanting to make a level with that concept, um, but like with progressively tighter rooms that use what looks like the same layout. I'm trying to um, describe this idea, but um, this is a really bad comparison, but if you, if you watch my Let's Play of this, you might know what I'm talking about or have seen someone else's Let's Play. In the game The Witness, there is this one puzzle. I think Jeffrey called it the multi-puzzle. Um, and maybe that's the name it goes by in The Witness fandom. But it's this thing where every screen on this thing is controlling, um, is controlled by your single input. And the more you solve it, the more your solution has to line up with every single condition on all the screens that have been revealed. It's in the the mountain area that you go through during the end game of the witness. I've been wanting to do something like that with like a same game concept where you have chips in, in these little rooms and you have like more open ended solutions early on. But then the more you go, the more narrow it gets and the more chips are added. So you kind of have to come up with like a more stringent kind of approach with successive rooms and I really want to call this level one upsman chip because it's like you're adding more chips every single room and you can only get so many. I haven't built this yet, but I really want to tr give it a shot. So that's my, that's my idea. And I'm, I'm hoping to bring it to fruition one day, probably not in time for CCLP five. All right, everybody. Next time we are going to get into the back half of the hundred tens with power plant peril Really looking forward to this one. So uh, thank you all again for watching. Really appreciate your support, your views, um, your your comments and, and everything. I, it's just great hearing from you all again. Uh, I, I've missed this. I, I didn't realize just how much I've missed this until I, I up uploaded the other day for the first time. So again, thank you all so much. Really appreciate a bunch. And I'll catch you on the flip side. So take care and see you then.